and welcome to this session of India Construction Week 2020. I am Ajit Mishra, General Manager with Dedicated Freight Corridor Corporation. I will be briefing. Hello and welcome to this session of India Construction Week 2020. I am Ajit Mishra, General Manager with Dedicated Freight Corridor Corporation. I will be briefing you about the innovative execution strategies for large infrastructure projects. This is the presentation scheme. First of all, what is the need of increased infrastructure in India? Then how the large infrastructure projects is being executed in developed countries? Then in the countries, I'll be focusing mainly towards railway projects and their execution status. With the background of execution status of large infrastructure, I will be focusing on how DFC projects is going to face the challenges of execution and what are the project innovations being adopted in DFC CIL project. As we all know, the Indian economy is aspiring to become a 5 trillion US dollar economy by 2024-25. For that, the country needs to spend about 1.4 trillion US dollar on infrastructure. This spending will be done through different projects to bring these infrastructure projects into reality. What has been our experience with execution of large infrastructure projects? A study in 20 developed countries has suggested that about 90% of the projects do have cost overruns. Another study for 44 urban rail projects has suggested that average cost overrun in projects is about 45%. Out of that, about one-fourth of the projects have cost overruns of more than 60%. What is In India, the situation is almost similar, especially focusing to railway projects as per audit report of 2015. There has been delay in completion of projects which have resulted in cost overrun of over 1 lakh crores. During a period of 5 years, about 202 projects were added to the existing list of projects, but only 67 were completed during this period of 5 years. This shows that there is huge pending list of projects waiting for their completion. How that is happening? One of the reason is the underutilization of funds or disproportionate allotment of funds or ignoring the fund constraints. But here in this India Construction Week presentation, I will focus mainly on what are the execution strategies which we as engineers can focus to expedite project delivery and to meet the challenge of development of huge infrastructure which country is demanding. With this background of very poor project execution statistics when Ministry of Railway took up the project of dedicated freight corridors costing over 82,000 crore rupees. Obviously, there were a lot of consideration going on that what should be done to execute this project of such a large magnitude. The magnitude of this project can be 
understood by these figures the hinterland of dfc projects caters to 480 million population and a huge catchment area in construction industry this dfc means the execution of 350 million cubic meter of earthwork 20 million cubic meter of stone ballast over 2000 million cubic meter of concrete works and so many other requirements this project requires construction of over 7000 bridges 50 rail over rail flyovers over 1000 road over and road under bridges this will use over 1 million ton of structural steel and a land acquisition of about 2800 square kilometers in electrical signaling and telecom industries also the requirements for this projects are very huge there will be large requirement of contact and catenary wire aluminium conductors insulators structural steels ofc and other telecom exchanges believe me these are really very large figures and to execute and put these different activities into reality definitely there has to be a different strategy as compared to what had been used in past to meet the challenges apart from the for the execution of this project a different contracting strategies was adopted which is at par with other developed countries where large infrastructure projects have been done successfully but here i'll focus more on the execution strategies which was adopted in this project first of all in this project the complete elimination of level crossings were envisaged that means there will be no surface crossing of road with the freight corridor tracks this has demanded the construction of about 562 road under bridges and 296 road over bridges and to execute these works different innovative schemes were used another feature of this project which was adopted was use of grade separated railway track crossings wherever the spread corridor track is crossing with other track it was made grade separated to avoid time consumption in surface crossing of two trains in the construction of bridges extensive use of precast technology are being used to expedite the construction standardized bridge designs are being used to replicate the design at several places which reduces the requirement of form works and design inputs use of slip form concreting is used to expedite the construction improve the quality and faster construction jump for concreting and single lift concreting is being adopted to expedite the construction here single lift concreting is being done on a bridge abutment 
to expedite construction. Here extensive use of machineries have been done and adequate safety measures especially for workers have been adopted. Construction also use of latest machines have been done in this project. Here you can see the new track construction machine imported from USA is doing the track laying work. You can see the sleepers are being placed at equal spacing and then rails are being mounted on that. This mechanized construction of track ensures very good track construction quality and ensures faster track construction. In electrification work also, extensive use of the latest machineries are being done. Here, electrification work goes fast as machines and then placement. OHE mast is done again by mast grabber using mechan mechanized means. Wiring of OHE. OHG wiring cranes are being used. This expedites the wiring for electrification work. In project monitoring, use of drone technology is being done for getting real-time and actual site details. GIS web based progress monitoring is being done for authentic and accurate site information. In maintenance strategy also extensive use of mechanized maintenance and less dependence on human interface is being planned to ensure safety and reliability. These are the references which I have cited in my presentation and the opinions expressed here are solely my own and do not express that of my employer. Thank you very much. You can reach me for any further details at the email provided on the top. Thank you.